Welcome back, welcome back. And not there for such great news. If I come and drop a like if you haven't. Not today. Uh, we finished the architecture components, the collapse. Now let's do quiz. Let's go. What's up, pal? What's that? Live data, real model, data, yeah, stuff like that. Real model in the state again, survive orientation change. I don't think you can, that's why you do it. Real model allows you to separate code that updates the UI from code that doesn't need to rely on the UI or life cycle. Yep. Model prevents your data from updating the UI, but you know what? Combine them. Um, a real model is destroyed after visual following. Says. You should execute time consuming tasks and I will regret your activity and fragments. Probably not, right? It runs, it keeps getting updated and then keeps uh, being destroyed and put back. It's best to, and then they have a limited life. Whereas the given data you can just save it pseudo permanently at least until you try to turn the app. So it should be false. How do you initialize and store live data in your remote instead of a UI controller? Yeah, that's like what I'm wearing. I don't know why number two is right, but it looks like a one and three are right, and one are being all of the above. Which of the following allows you to use observe for changes in a live data object? Boom, check on that country of us. It's okay for a new model directly represent at real or live for a cycle on a class. Uh, yeah. I was using live data, but. Pretty shit. It's not. Use observer change live data object. Okay, for real model directly reference and read. Oh my god. Oh, I guess. Better than 6 out of 6. Is there? Really? Here's the third one there. Honestly, I don't know if that's even the correct sentence. <laughs> cool. Uh, what am I doing now? Uh, let's keep grinding away at this uh, this course. We are pretty. Far along, I think. 
me turn off the recording. See you next video.